I finally did it. I got the 7 to 14 f2.8 Pro lens, Olympus Pro lens, and I went to test it out uh, for photography and videography. Um, the reason why I got this lens was because I got really interested in wanting to do more landscaping and nature photography and videography. Um, one of the reasons why is because I've always kind of had that interest. I just never really acted on it. But I finally was able to snag this from Adorama. This was actually uh, pre-owned um, and it was in good condition, excellent condition. And I just got it today. So let's kind of uh, see what it can do. I've already taken a couple um, test shots of these beautiful roses and flowers that grow around here. So we're gonna just take a look at that in a minute. Um, I want to do some more video with it handheld and then maybe later on I'll do some video with my gimbal and see how well it does. Now, this camera body has gone through the ringer. It went through, um, <laughs> went through the ringer with me um, about four years ago when I got into an accident. So it might not work as great as it once did, but I still use it because, hey, it's it's um, something sentimental to me and it survived with me. So um, <laughs> let's take a look at some test images. So what do you think? <laughs> Pretty cool, right? I, I, I thought so too. Um, I really don't know how to like really describe how I particularly like this lens when shooting in um, the time of day of blue hour, but I would have to say that I really did enjoy it, um, especially capturing the wildflowers with the um, Sky is the backdrop. No, because the wind blew it and cracked my screen, so fun. Um, so about this lens, how it does during blue hour, it was actually um, quite surprising. It was, it did a lot better than I expected. Um, just having the um, flowers, the wildflowers that I had in the foreground and the sky in the backdrop, the colors, um, having the flowers in um, complete sharpness and the, the sky um, in, in the sky not being so much in focus. And then there was a shot where there was a, was a sky in focus and the, the uh, flowers were in focus. I really, really enjoyed this. Um, just looking at it on my laptop and seeing the sharpness of the image was really great for that time of day and for the settings that I did use for, for that particular uh, video. Um, so all in all, I would have to give this lens a 8 out of 10, uh, especially for people who are beginners. Um, it is a pro lens, um, but it is also on the more affordable side. So I believe that this could be something that beginners could start with in their journey for landscape and nature photography and video work. Um, 
I would also probably suggest pairing it with an alternate body. Um, like I said, I am working with the OM, the uh, EM10 Mark III, and because it has gone through a couple of things with me over the past few years. Um, but other than that, I think this is a really cool lens and I am so excited to show you guys more things that I will be doing with this lens. Um, please like, comment, and share. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you are on the fence of purchasing and you're gonna purchase because of this video, let me know. Or if you're thinking, no, nah, I'm not gonna do it. Either way, just talk to me. Um, but that's, that's about it for me today. See you guys soon.